Here's a, another match. I have, uh, oh boy, I have caught the lobby going right now. We got two golds, three or four silvers, and three or four blues. That, that math doesn't quite add up. Maybe two blues. Here, no, two golds, three silvers, three blues. Took a screenshot. Because it's uh, quite a map. We're on Rift, which is an absolute knuckle duster of a map. It's pretty thin. There's, It's long, thin, and tall. There's a lot of cover in these little orb dealies. As you can see, this is kind of what those look like when you're more zoomed in on them. That's what the one on point D is going to look like. What these up here look like. So they got a lot of cover. They got holes. This is a weird map. I like this map. And it's another map I don't think I've uh, shown. Plus five escorts. That's quite a fleet. Uh, team one, Shelter Alliance. Team two, Protectorate. And uh, I think this is going to be an amazing mm -hmm. game. With how high, relatively speaking, the uh, skill levels, the supposed skill levels of the players are. Looks like we're going to be checking out the ANS team first. Alright, this guy, is this just one voxel? No, okay. They're spread around. Cannon voxels, defenders, bullseye. They're pretty basic. Fighting Voxel crew. Got it. Cannons, defenders, no bullseye, but some Mark II launchers, and presumably some very expensive missiles that gave up an entire... Oh yeah, hybrids. Since they gave up an entire Voxel worth of points for it. It's just a real heavy, 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 heavy fleet coming out of the ANS team. We got an Axford, Gun Axford, Robust Point Defense... Gun axe for robust point defense, and then more voxels. Gun voxels, bullseyes, and PD with some AMMs as well in the backpack. Yeah, just cruisers, heavy cruisers and light cruisers. No scouts, no Solomons, no Ewar Reigns, no destroyers, just raw fucking power. All right, Tata Bushka, we got some combat Ocellos with rocket launcher 18s on them. Oh my, that, I had not considered doing that. That could be quite devastating if those can get a good angle. It'd also be really good against small vessels. Let's get away from that a little bit. That get around on weird angles, but uh, there are no small vessels on the opposing force. Another gun, Ocello, this time with smaller guns. Good for ripping apart small vessels. Those are going to hurt you this time. Sorry, Jimbo. But all the small vessels have gone to the Shadow Realm. It's nothing but cruisers on the enemy team. Those guns aren't going to do much unless one of these monitor teams has a bunch of uh, plasma. Looks like we got cannons. Tugs with cannons. Tugs with cannons. I'm used to seeing monitors with cannons. I'm not used to seeing an armada of tugs. These are very fragile. But if they can get a good angle, it could be quite dangerous. Two lyrebirds on this thing. <laughs> Interesting. Unfortunately, I don't think the lyrebirds that good. The Its radiated power is just so low. It doesn't really disrupt missiles very reliably. All right. More standard mass drivers. Okay, so we got a wannabe Keystone team over here. Monitors with the mass drivers. I've seen that build. It's quite devastating. If you can get a good radar picture of your opponent. Fighting starting already. I've turned down the quality on the videos, but my frame rate is still kind of bad. Not sure what's been going on tonight. Just in general, my computer's been running like booty. Um, hopefully the players aren't going to be too unhappy with that, and hopefully you, dear viewer, are also not going to be too unhappy with that. Looks like large and small rounds coming out of the Ocellos, doing a fair bit of damage to this Axford. 
the angling is not helping it at all. Yeah, those are some pretty flat angles from this side. Now it's going after the... Oh, boy! Mass Driver's coming in, dealing a ton of damage to those modules in the midsection. What do we got here? Birthing? That's not the end of the world. But the cannon, the upper and lower cannons are in big trouble. Those four guns are very important. Aft cannon is too, but it's not as easy to uh, get the target. No points have been taken. As you can see this time out, I uh, added a time limit thanks to some troublesome ne'er-do-wells in the past few matches. Uh, I think we're going to wind up with a couple draws every so often. But, uh, I don't know, I'm expecting in matches I'll declare the victor if people want that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it anyways. I don't care if you want it or not. Some missiles coming down the field? Oh, yes. Well, just rockets. Yeah, rockets fired at that range. Not a good idea. You really want to be in three clicks and firing rockets at people. Another mass driver co volley comes out. Uh... Oh, man. These Axwords are getting beat quite handily by the bulk of the OSP team. Actually, he's firing. We got one, two, three fleets firing. Yeah, so everyone except for uh, Eco Solar Surfer, Surfer is firing at this pair of Axwords, and they are not having a good time, as one might expect. More mass driver hits coming in. I think, uh, I think these guys are just about out of the fight. You really don't want to be driving your Axfords in full view of everyone. The Voxel Brigade. How many are these? Is this all the Voxels? No. One group of Voxels is engaging. We have two fleets worth of Voxels looping around Charlie's side of the map. Uh, these two Voxels are trying to dance with these Ocellos over here. But with those Axfords backing off, that means these Ocellos are going to be able to focus the full might of their power onto those Voxels, which is bad news for them. It's like the Ocellos really have not taken hardly any damage. This one's a little damaged. <laughs> Back in engineering again. I'm <laughs> continuously amazed at how fragile the Ocellos engineering is. That's just because it's so fat. This thing has an absolute dump truck ass. And uh, that makes your engineering section very vulnerable. It's kind of like the Voxel in that respect, but the Voxel's got the big, thick midsection, which kind of protects the engineering section from the front. The Ocello does not have that. Less damage, it seems, coming onto the Voxels. I don't know if it's from the... than was coming onto the Axfords. That is, I don't know if it's from the angling. Yeah, it's got to be pointing the nose forwards because some rounds like I was about to say some rounds will miss um, with this tiny tiny profile and those that do hit there yeah there's a decent deflection change you saw a deflection there and it's also got its entire face to travel through and and that that adds up that's a lot of damage reduction coming through that armor voxels are gonna safely back off launching some missiles Let's follow these. Uh, and then check out the Axford team. It looks like they took a little more damage from last time we saw. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Some parries coming in on hybrids. You really don't want that. Oh, man. It's not going to matter. Yeah. That was an unfortunate waste of AMMs, but... Uh, Hybrids were cleaned up in the end. Ah, one of these tugs has gone over to take Delta. And he's going to need to get out of there soon with these voxels coming in. Oh, yeah. There, it's too late. They're getting opened up on. And with RPF rounds, it looks like. Well, some RPF, some... HE, perhaps. If it was just RPF, this thing would be getting annihilated. HE's good, but against those tugs, 
Ain't nothing better than RPF. Voxels and the Axfords are regrouping. They've both been damaged a fair bit. It's unfortunate if they were able to coordinate a little better. This little team right here, four, could have done a lot of damage against those Voxels. Or those uh, Ocellos. Because one of those Ocellos uh, is dishing out very little damage with the Mark 65s. Well, 250 is fine against Voxels. It's just not good against the Axfords. So they'd have to split up their fire if they wanted the best damage possible. 450 HE. Uh-oh. No AP. Man, I really... In that case, I'm impressed with how much damage this did to the Axfords. Since it's just HE rounds coming out. I guess because the... Uh, yeah, it's because the angling was so bad. The Axfords, see if they were facing their battles like they are now. They would have received significantly less damage and probably been able to re deal out quite a bit more and stay in the fight for longer. There's that voxel speed and just small profile coming in handy right there. Swoosh, all those bullets. 200 years from now, all these rounds are going to just annihilate a planet somewhere. But we don't care about that today. All these rounds missing. Incredible. The Ocellos are broadsiding. That's not good for the Ocello. That means that drive section is going to take a lot more fire. Yep. Yeah, a lot more fire. The engines is getting hit. The drive is getting hit. What kind of drive are you rocking? Whiplash. And a dragonfly. Well... Those are both about to be dead, and so is the reactor. Reactor is down! That one's going to be out of the show for a little while. Looks like it's got some spare reactors, maybe? It still seems to be burning. No, I think that's just running because the ship is in motion. It hasn't completely stopped. Uh-oh, missiles. And there's not... Aha, they're going after this one. Well, and one came after this one. Missiles that went after this boy, Vocal and Hunch, didn't do that much damage. These missiles are doing a great deal of damage, especially since most of them hit midsection of the ship, where all the modules are stacked on top of each other very closely. CIC's in big trouble. DC locker down. That ship is looking bad. OSP team's taking quite a beating thus far. Well, and so is the ANS. It's it's been pretty pretty bloody all around, but it's about to get even more bloody. These tugs are coming up. They could potentially dish out a ton of damage on this Voxel Axford team that is just hanging back here, who doesn't have that much cover. I mean, well, yeah, they're they're angling around this rock. In fact, if they keep angling around this rock, they might do a little bit of. There we go round here. There we go rounding. Delta's been capped. This dog's getting chased. Painting this voxel with his bullseye, but there's no one over here to capitalize on it. Unfortunately. Whole bunch of rockets coming out. Where are these going? They're they're being fired halfway across the map, and those aren't gonna do anything. Uh, rockets are inaccurate and they're also very vulnerable to PD so if you don't fire them close to your enemies that happens however an absolutely withering barrage of fire coming out of this pack of Ocellos over here Bushka and Pronub working together very well keeping their Ocellos together able to put an incredible amount of fire down the field didn't do as much damage as I was expecting though this Voxel just isn't fighting back I'm not sure what's going on. Ah, the CIC got shot out. That's very unfortunate. Considering almost everything else on this ship is totally fine. That's uh, that's awful. I would be pretty unhappy. So we're going to stop looking at that and go somewhere else. That's actually interesting. Okay, these are taking advantage of the lull and the targeting. These Ocellos don't realize they've popped the CIC off of this thing. How could they? 
And they're taking a beating for it. Unfortunate. Man, I cannot believe the sheer volume of gun holes on the port side of this thing. A lot of fire going with that voxel. I wonder if they're going to notice that the voxel isn't fighting back. Doesn't seem to be the case. They're still firing at it. Have some over the map scouts up here. Ah, this is the mass driver team. They haven't done that much. Either that or I've been missing them. Okay, I've been missing them. They're firing at this voxel. And oh, good hit. Midships. A few good hits in the engineering section. Looks like the main engines have been taken out. Two of them, anyways. It's going to seriously hurt its ability to zoom, zoom. And you really need to go fast on those voxels. One of the Ocellos is down. And it might be, yeah, Zero Restores, it's out. So Ocello is taking a lot of fire. Uh, that one isn't, neither is that one. All right, I think this tug fleet, no, not yet. It, yeah, we're, uh, we're NASCARing, as the Tech Warrior Online community calls it when you just go around in a big circle. These boys are dodging, and they're coming. They're real smart. They'd switch around, but I don't think they have a good radar picture. A whole lot of missiles coming in on these voxels. More rockets being fired at long range. Gonna do, well, not nothing technically. That was a hit. Yeah, I mean, it did good work. It did a lot of damage to that reactor, and it disabled the backpack VLS. But imagine what that could do if you were in knife fight range. No one's really going after points. It's just been an absolute knuckle duster so far. Ships dueling and dueling and dueling some more. It's almost like there's a war on out here. Shame on everybody for being violent in this pacifist-centric game. Triple four box, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's a... It happens. I don't know why this guy's complaining. He's doing work with what he's got. Maybe that's why you bring the Ocellos? Because the 250s aren't as effective on the Ocellos? As they are on other OSP ships. Oh, oh boy. I wasn't sure where the hell those missiles were going. Some good hits here. It looks like the engineering section's in trouble. One of the drives is out. The reactor's heavily damaged. A whole bunch more missiles coming out. People are track firing their missiles directly into that asteroid. Oh, Boy, how fun is that? These voxels are... I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to get to cover, I guess. But now's not the time to cover. Now's the time to strike. You got expert help. You got help from uh, the other voxel team that's still alive. We got uh, some missiles coming out towards these tugs. And a uh, connect. Not much damage, though. This is an unbelievable amount of point defense. <laughs> and it's not really enough. Because hybrids are pretty good, especially against Pavis with their poor tracking ability. Sprinters. Quite good, quite good. But they're Mark II sprinters, which means their warheads are Mark I, which means they're not really doing that much damage. They're getting the connects, and they're doing a little bit of damage, they add, but uh, guns would certainly be doing more in this case. That is so much PD. Please stop annihilating our enemy. <laughs> oh, the time dilation. Yeah, good hits, good hits. But this team is just bruised. I don't think anything's truly out of the fight. A lot of things that are damaged. No, I mean, 
the most damaged ship is this and maybe this, but I think a lot of that's the RPF coming in. This team can't decide who they want to shoot at, but that's okay because these tugs can't decide who they want to shoot at. This is the problem with having all these guys information like this. It's hard to get them to do what you want. They're going to fire 250 rounds into the Saxford. Not really where you want to be putting those. Get 250s, you really want to be going after the voxels, although it seems to be working, especially with those mass drivers. And this Axford was damaged earlier in the fight against those Ocellos. So Ocellos, which are... All right, it looks like we got one burning towards Bravo or Charlie. Ba -ba -ba. Got this and that. I'm going to restart my computer after this one because he's right. It's running way worse than it usually does. I don't know what's going on there. Sorry to the viewers, sorry to the players. Maybe it's just this map. There's a lot of, like, space dust on this map. I've never hosted Rift. I've played on it a few times, but I've never hosted it. But I have hosted Sticks before, and that also ran weirdly poorly. Just having all kinds of technical problems tonight. I, I don't know how many videos I've uploaded or will upload from this evening's recording session. Um, but yeah, if you've uh, watched those, you know that I'm having issues galore. Oh boy, more RPF down on these tugs. This is such a weird fleet. It, yeah, this, there, that's the problem with the 250s on those tugs. With no plasma support, it's just going to bounce off that Axford quite reliably, in fact. Or just impact the rear section and do almost no damage. This drive section has been getting pounded and is taking very, very little damage. Which is a huge problem. These tugs are taking a lot of damage. It cracks me up when people who complain about the host also refuse to uh, host their own match. Cause that's that's part of the reason I'm hosting, right? Is because I got a pretty good computer, definitely handle it, <laughs> and and no one else wants to host. So, I'll fucking host. Oh man, this poor Ocello. Hey, hey, that's the range! Actually, that's too close, funnily enough, but it's working anyways. Only when you fire rockets that close, you can't get them to shoot at what you want them to shoot at. That is some good damage there. Seriously harmed that voxel. Maybe the, maybe the real trick is to purposefully kick in the time dilation so I can actually spot everything important that's going on on the map. <laughs> Just arbitrarily inflate how long these games take. Just so I look like slightly less of a dumbass. Yeah, that's a great idea. These Axfords... I don't... I don't know who's going to win this fight because these Axfords are getting a lot of deflections, but they are taking damage steadily from those 250s. And there are just so many tugs that even though they're all taking a decent amount of damage, it's not getting concentrated. Yeah, none of the nose points on any of these tugs are dead. There's a few that are red, but not, like this can still shoot. It's going to be slow as hell. Or 
maybe it can't shoot. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. I guess not. This little guy over here. Still in the fight after that strong rocket hit. I think the uh, I think the ANS has this one in the bag. With these points. And uh, yeah, this tug fleet is slowly melting away. And Bushka is out of it. Pranuv is still in it, but very bruised. Mm. Burning towards Charlie, or uh, Delta, actually, not Charlie. Charlie's. Uh, the enemy is Sonic Who the hell is it? He's down there, below Delta. Okay. Mm. Fighting something. The same, the same voxel. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart my computer because just open up the task manager, take a look, and my CPU is not really in high use, and my RAM is not really in high use. So there's just Enemy something weird going on. My GPU's not in high use at all. <laughs> yeah, here we go. But my game's still running like ass for some reason, which is just lovely for everyone. He is using AP, it's just not enough. Yeah, he's been using AP. Like this tug fleet is melting away. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Yeah. The enemy is securing its own deck. The enemy secured its own box. Those two things are the same phrase. Am I just old as fuck? <laughs> is that what the problem is? This doesn't cut it and isn't worth it is to me the same phrase. That's dead. This is dying. Yeah, these tags are getting these tags are getting mopped up. Is an absolute hero, capping solo. Now that things have died, my game seems to be running better again. He can figure that out on his own. No, I'm not gonna get messy with this. Here comes this voxel fleet, which looks absolutely menacing at this angle. They're bruised, but not by much these ships can make it up to the mass driver team or can make it over to noobs Ocellos that can absolutely mop up either group they're probably going to hit the Ocellos first I think the mass driver team is higher priority but there's just it's not practical to get up there what are they doing right now anyways they're trying to angle to get on these Axfords 
if they're not careful, they're going to wind up getting blown out of the sky. I think they're trying to help that tug fleet, but it's toast. Might be able to get a shot on this. No way. Not through all that. This thing is dead. And Noob's just gonna tap out, even though he's got ships that are fighting. Okay. That's understandable. I mean, the game's over. And, uh, ANS has quite soundly won. But we can, we can watch the ship get shot up. The question is, will Joker Grandma tap out as well? Looks like the answer is no. Ah, lovely. Man, after that, those two axe words and those two voxels got beat to fuck, I thought LSP was well positioned to take it because they had taken very little damage, but they had dealt out so very much. But it was not enough. Not enough. People who make the music for this game, or I guess the person, one person made the music for this game. Oh, hey! Nice. Actually, uh... Actually went ahead and tapped out. Because, cause, yeah, the, the game was over. There's no way these guys were going to be able to... I mean, I guess they could have, but... Uh, I don't fucking think so. Cool. Uh, yeah, huge, huge thank you to Joker for giving up and not trying to force out the points game. I mean, I suppose there's a minor chance you could have won, but I think it's extremely unlikely. That was brutal. That was quite a combat. Eco Solar not happy with his fleet. Oh, no. Yeah, 250 AP. That's about what that does against Axfords without plasma support. My god, that is pathetic. Joker, on the other hand, with his mass drivers, did a lot of damage considering wasn't able to get good angles for the most part. Bushka, ooh, a thousand damage on that, that hurts. 450 HE, 450 HE. Yeah, indeed. Oh, that's clever. I think you just get more bang for your buck doing mass drivers on lines. Because the feeders, you just lose so many points in ship cost. much okay alloy it's three boxes did a little work wow the mystical machine gun 18k very nice let's see as yeah, saw is pretty good well obviously we already know that that's interesting Oh, I guess 280 percent damage because it's RPF. Man, these experts only brought 250. Brave, but it worked out. Problem with 250 is you can't hit things at long range very effectively. It didn't matter for all the tiny ships. Ah, and that's why the experts performed so poorly against the Ocellos, is they only had the 250. That was not 
Not gonna, not gonna cut it against that. It's a double pair of voxels did well too. There's a really good showing out of Shelter Alliance team. And that's all you need. Good game. Apologies to everyone, players and viewers alike, for the system problems. Hopefully those will be solved uh, right now, actually. So, good night, good evening, good day, good morning. Whenever you are, wherever you are, thanks for sticking around.